All right, guys on Face Gaming, back again with another GTA Online money glitch. And in this video, we've got another solo car duplication glitch, where you can duplicate any car you like. And um, this one is not one where you require it to look so. This one is a lot easier. Now, previously, we did have a version of this glitch that it worked for a while, but then if you purchase the terabyte, it stopped working. Well, it still worked to a degree. It was just extremely hard to hit. So this is a version of the glitch where even if you own the terabyte, you can hit this glitch extremely easily. And it is a hell of a lot faster than the deluxe offline under the map method. So for this glitch, you are going to need a nightclub with one of the garages. And you're also going to need an MOC or a CEO office garage with a mod shop to save the car. So what we're going to be doing in this particular video is we're going to be duplicating a Sultan RS. Now in the last video, I duplicated an LG Retro Custom, but as I was telling you in the last video, your best bet is to duplicate a few different types of vehicles now that we've got the new Duke Detect rules in place. They will be linked in the description again in, the, in this video, so make sure to take a look at the new rules and make sure you stick to them, otherwise you will end up with a one car a day limit and nobody wants that. So yeah, in this particular video, we are going to be duplicating a Sultan RS. So you're also going to need a free car or a car you're not bothered about losing stored in this same garage. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to move this Revolta that I've got sat in here. And I'm going to swap it out with a Fagio that I've got stored in another nightclub garage. So I'm just going to put a Fagio in this garage. And what we're going to be doing is duplicating over the Fagio with the Sultan RS. Now, if you've seen this video before, uh, about the previous glitch when it was easier to do it without the terabyte then by all means you'll know exactly what the method is it's just a, a slight little tweak but I'll show you anyway so what you're going to do is you're going to run up towards the door so you get the menu up like this you're going to hit pause you're going to go across to online jobs play a job rockstar created missions and you're going to start up a tighten of a job now what you're going to do is you're going to wait on this confirm screen now, as soon as you hit A to accept this, you're going to go up, up, A, up, up, A, up, up, A. And if you keep hitting it like that, the screen should go black, as you just see now. Then what will happen is you'll load into the job normally. So all you're going to do at this point is you're just going to quit the job and confirm the alert, quit the job. Now, you should spawn back in your garage with no minimap. If this is right, then it means you've hit the glitch perfectly. So what you need to do now is you need to run over to the blue circle inside your garage. And you're just going to press right D-pad to access the vehicle management menu. Now what you're going to do is you're going to swap the Sultan or whatever car you're duplicating with the free car you're not bothered about losing. And as you'll see, they swap in the menu, but the actual vehicles do not swap inside your garage. So what you need to do at this point You've got a Fagio that's called a Sultan. You've also got a Sultan that's called a Fagio. So what you're going to do is you're going to jump in the car you want to duplicate. So in this particular instance, I'm going to jump in this Sultan, even though it's listed as a Fagio. And you'll notice the player ends in 482. Now, as soon as you drive this car outside, it's going to grab the plate from the Fagio. So as you'll see in the footage now, when we spawn outside, the plate changes, and you'll see it now ends in 665. So at this point, you're just going to bring up your interaction menu. You're going to go down to Mobile Operations Center, and you're going to request it. And then you're just going to drive over to the Mobile Operations Center. Now, if you don't have the Mobile Ops Center, you can do this with the CEO garage. However, you do have to have empty spaces inside your CEO garage. Otherwise, if it's full, you accept the full alert, it will just revert back to whatever car you started with. Now, as soon as you get into the CEO garage, you need to modify something on the car, which is why you need to own the mod shop. I much prefer using the MOC. However, if you're going to be doing one after another, after another, after another, it's quicker to use the office mod shop because you've got to wait five minutes every time you call out the MOC. So now I've stored this car inside the back of there. That's it. This car is completely saved. We've done one duplicate. That's it. It is complete. So you could do whatever you like with this car now. You can sell it. You can go and store it in another garage. You can do whatever you like with it. That is one duplicate complete. So you can see how much faster this glitch is than the Deluxo version, can't you? 
So obviously you're going to be dupling a hell of a lot quicker, which is why I was saying about the office garage method. If you're going to be doing one after another after another, it is a lot quicker to use your office garage. But in this particular video, I'm just showing you how to do it. The method of saving it is completely up to you. So as you can see now, I've just drove back into my basement three. I'm just going to replace the car. This Sultan RS here was the one that was already stored in the MOC. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to replace this Deluxo. I'm going to send the Deluxo to the MOC and bring this Sultan RS back inside here. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do the glitch again. And I'm going to duplicate this Sultan over the top of this Night Shark. This Night Shark I bought for free when they were free the other week. So it is a technically a free car for me. So I'm just going to show you now doing it for a second time. Obviously, if you've already got the grasp of it, you don't need to watch this for a second time. I will be running through it a lot quicker. So second time we're doing it, you need to make our way over to the door. And just like last time, we're going to stop in front of the door just when the menu pops up. And we're going to pause. We're going to go across to online. We're going to go to jobs, play job, rockstar created, missions. And we're going to start up tight of a job. Now, as soon as we hit confirm, we're going to go up, up, A, up, up, A, up, up, A. Now, obviously on PlayStation, that'll be up, up, X, up, up, X, up, up, X. But you get the idea. You're just basically doing up, up, accept, up, up, accept, up, up, accept. It's uh, pretty easy to get the timing right on it, but you should nail it first time. Let's be honest. I, I did this first time, both times that I tried it, and it was fine. So, as you can see, I've spawned in the garage. No minimap again, so I know I've hit the glitch. And I'm going to swap the Sultan with the Night Shark. Now, obviously, same again. You see the names swap in the menu, but the vehicles don't actually swap places. So I'm going to go and get inside the Sultan RS that in the list is called a Night Shark. And you'll see the same thing happen with this one. So once we get inside the car, I'm just going to take a quick look at the number plate that's on the car. And that is one that ends in 665 because we've just duplicated this one. Now, as soon as we drive outside, it is going to change to something. Well, it'll change to the plate that was on the Night Shark. So you're going to do the same thing again here. You're going to request your MOC or you're going to drive it inside your CEO office garage. In my particular case, I don't have any free spaces inside my office garage. Otherwise, I would show you that method. So I called out the MOC again and I'm just going to store it in the back of there. Now, same thing applies. As soon as you've stored it in the back of there, that is it. This duplicate is now saved. That is another one completed. So at this point, you can do whatever you want with this car. Go and sell it, put it back in your garage, whatever you like. I'm going to drive it back down to my nightclub level B3. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. It's an extremely simple glitch. It does not take much explaining at all. So I just thought I'd upload this video this glitch has been around on a few channels today i already know that but unfortunately i've only just got a chance to test this myself right now so i will be uploading this video now but yeah hopefully this will stay working for a couple of days so that you guys can fill your garages again do whatever duplicates you need to do but yeah if you've enjoyed the video remember to stick a like on it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and go follow me on twitter too all right guys i'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.